the design goal, which is called out in USP 797, again, applicable to 800, is that we want to move the air from the ceiling to the floor to make sure that the room is getting good dilution. So USP 797 references to what's called low wall, I think they call them low wall returns or low wall grills. In a hazardous drug room, we're going to call them low wall exhaust because they're exhausted out of the building and the biological safety cabinet is also exhausted out of the building. Uh, there is a carve out that says, if you use a ceiling return or a ceiling exhaust, you've got to prove that with a smoke study. And I can tell you from talking to my friends in the certification business, you'll never achieve that. And again, that's part of the lawsuit that I mentioned earlier is that they didn't actually integrate the low walls. There's no dilution. They can't pass a smoke study. It's just a, a big mess. So the design goal again, is to move air from the ceiling down to the floor. And I want you to know that that is applicable also for non-sterile. It's not called out on tables two in USP 800, and I get that, but the reality is, is if I'm handling powder, I'm doing capsules, I'm doing trochies, I'm doing creams, I'm doing anything that requires me to handle a dry API. And my technicians, bless their heart, they keep pulling their hands out of that powder hood to go retrieve another way boat or to go get another tamper for the capsule plates or whatever it is, they keep pulling their hands out. When they aerosolize that micron size powder, I want that airflow to essentially push it all the way down to the floor because in a non-sterile environment, referencing to 795, I've got to clean that floor every single day. So you see, again, there's a, a huge interconnectedness of all three of these chapters, whether or not USP 800 actually specifically calls it out. We know that there's a reference. So this is the way that you want to design. And again, USP 797 says that HEPA filtered air must be introduced at the ceiling. I did see a project where they tried to introduce HEPA filtered air from the makeup air unit. It had to travel 30 or 40 feet down the supply ductwork, and it would not pass the particle counts by the time it made it into its room. And also USP 797 would have debunked that anyway. So HEPA filtered air must be introduced at the ceiling.